I just got done reading this interesting book, I Kiss Dating Goodbye by Joshua Harris. Like the title suggests, the book is an anti-dating book, but in its place he proposes an older model known as courtship. Courtship fell out of favor around the turn of the 19th century, from the 1800s to the 1900s. Harris claims one possible explanation for that is the automobile. Now, he doesn't suggest we should get rid of automobiles because of it, but he believes it's a sign of the decline in our approach to marriage. He makes many points about the problems of our institutions of dating and marriage in this day and age and believes courtship is more spiritual. He claims, for example, in dating it's artificial. You present this false front, whereas in courtship you have a situation where you interact in their natural environments. He also says when you have dating, it's all about becoming intimate without commitment. And also in dating, there is this push for physical things out of time. He believes it's more spiritual to be in courtship. Now, courtship, in a nutshell, is this system where a person doesn't look for a partner, but when one comes along, they go through this process where they will go to their home and maybe interact with them but always under the watchful eye of the father and this father is supposed to help the daughter decide whether this person is right one point harris makes in dating you have this scenario where people who are young are not thinking about the right things with the wisdom of elders they're going to think about things differently so how would this look to somebody with Asperger's or autism? Would we want to kiss dating and goodbye? Part of me says, hell yeah. It's a terrible, difficult thing. Dating is a great, great challenge. It's immensely difficult. I take a math problem, a trigonometry problem over dating any day. I found trigonometry a lot easier than understanding dating. It's because we have that great difficulty. I got an F in the class of dating so hey courtship sounds better and courtship is more formalized and ritualized therefore it's easier to understand it's more concrete and one thing if you have Asperger's syndrome generally the thing you hate the most is ambiguity in dating there's zillions of ambiguity when are you a couple when are you not is it right to do this is it right to do that in the old courtship model is very formalized you do it in a certain way the man pursues the woman responds. You consult the father, you do it like this. You get the father's permission before you ask for the moment. A lot of Calvinists also believe we are so weak as individuals, you can't have a man and a woman alone or else they're going to do bad things. Harris didn't so much stress this, but he did emphasize the difficulty of that scenario. Paul Washer stresses that. He's huge on that. Oh, your ministry is over if you ever spend time alone with a woman. Now, obviously, it's a good thing to be careful and cautious. And there are situations that can be compromising. And many people would save themselves a lot of grief. But it's very impractical. And that's the thing with courtship. I even had a situation recently where a romantic interest and I were talking about it. And I told her I even considered doing courtship because I think she's a high caliber person. And I wanted to do it right. But she thought it was old-fashioned. So do you want to kiss dating goodbye because you fail at it? Who cares the morality? You want to kiss it goodbye because it doesn't work. Part of me says, hell yeah, I'm going to kiss it goodbye. I want a game I can win. But let's think about it from a more spiritual perspective. Every individual, no matter what your condition, what your lot, what your predicament is, you are on this earth to create a bridge. You are here to gain some experience and the experience you transform into a bridge that others can go across. It will be that much easier for them. Everyone is going to do it in one way or another. We all have different bridges. One bridge when you have Asperger's or autism is the bridge of social re relations. It's so difficult for us. Therefore, we gain expertise in it. Robert Bly says, your wound is your greatest strength. Therefore, we have the opportunity 
to create a wonderful bridge. We become experts in dating. And I have found in my experience, I'm actually avoiding some of the difficulties other people are. Some people get involved in abusive relationships. They get involved in relationships with people who are bad partners for a variety of reasons. Because they're not thinking about it the way I am. It's so difficult for me. I think about it endlessly and therefore I become an expert. If it's something very easy for you, you're not going to think about it. And that could be good or bad. If you're not thinking about it and you have the right background, the right psychology already in your subconscious, then it may go right. But a lot of people don't have that perfect. Therefore, they fail as well. To me, the greatest thing is to get it started in the first place. Other people don't have those same difficulties. But, hey, I save myself a lot of grief if I can avoid these people altogether that are bad for me. So maybe it's a good thing I don't get things started too easily. So that's the way we can look at it. Sure, it's frustrating. Sure, it's disappointing. So it's disheartening. It's endlessly difficult. But that's the way life works. We can create this wonderful new bridge to something mightier. And we can create a foundation that others after us can follow. Hey, I want a soulmate. I want to experience all those good things in romantic relationships. Hopefully I can, in the end, experience all the good things without having to go through some of the difficulties that the other people who have an easier time at it go through. Courtship, in my cynical moments, sounds, hey, awfully appealing. Now I'm not suggesting it is without merit. Joshua Harris, along with other Calvinists, definitely give us something to think about. And that's the big reason I read the book in the first place. A different point of view that illuminates some things about life. Hey, dating isn't a perfect thing, so it's worthwhile to reflect on it, even if we're not going to abandon it entirely. Therefore, I say, you don't necessarily have to kiss dating goodbye. Instead, see this as an opportunity for a bridge, instead of being a victim of life.